yeah, maybe a compressor is nice, but uh, I spent 50 bucks on a pump and I don't have a gym membership. I don't need one with this. All right, I was working on my desk the other day, but then I got some gift cards from work and I got distracted. Look at all the stuff that just arrived in the mail. There's a high pressure hand pump. There's a box, box full of stuff, but also there's the Air Venturi Avenger regulated PCP. It has an adjustable regulator and that's something that I've been wanting for a very long time. Let's address something that's on the box first. Right here, it says it shoots up to 1000 FPS. That is a little fast for Diablo shaped pellets. They should be shooting, you know, 850, 875, something like that. That's why it's so cool that it has an externally adjustable regulator so I can tone it down a little bit. I had that same problem with the brake barrel that I bought at Walmart years ago. It's the Crossman F4. It's like a hundred dollar brake barrel or something. And on the box it says 1200 FPS. And that's with, you know, non-lead pellets. But it shoots a thousand FPS with lead. What happens if the, those pellets are going that fast, you'll see them go down your scope like this. Far away, you can barely hit anything. At first I was shooting these 7.4 grain pellets, you know, the regular cheap ones, and they're too light. They're going too fast. So because this is not adjustable, I had to get heavier pellets to quiet it down. These are 10.5 grains, and then it started shooting straight at uh, longer distances. The YouTube channel AEAC did an awesome review and a full tuning guide, and I'm basically following his advice on how to tune this gun so I can shoot lighter pellets. The Avenger, out of the box, comes with the regulator around uh, 2600 PSI, which would be great if you're shooting these 25 grain slugs. But if I'm shooting these light these lighter pellets, I don't need that much power and they will go too fast. They will go 1000 FPS, which is what I don't want. I want them to go 850-ish. From his experimentation, I sort of concluded that you need about 100 PSI per grain of the pellet that you're shooting. These are 14.3, but I'm also getting um, some H&Ns and some JSBs that are, you know, 14.6 or 15.9. And so I'm going to set the regulator to 1500 PSI. That way the shots go straight and I also get more shots before it falls off the regulator. From the factory, it comes with roughly 1500 PSI in the tube. And to adjust the regulator pressure, I need to bleed the air first or I will break the regulator. So let's start there. So if you want to do this yourself, first of all, read the manual and you can uh, watch the whole tuning guide by AEAC and just take his advice. There's one piece of advice that I didn't take because I'm cheap. I got the high pressure pump instead of a compressor. If I would get a compressor, I would spend more on the compressor than on the gun, so it didn't make a lot of sense to me. This is a very cheap $50. Looks exactly the same as all the other ones. What I was surprised to see, so of course the whole thing says made in China. This tube is made in Germany and the gauge is made in Japan. So they actually, where it counts, they use some quality. When I first put it together and I tested it, uh, it comes with a plug so that you can plug this up, pump it up halfway, and then see if it holds. It was leaky, but yeah, maybe that's why it's $50. But it's nothing that some uh, PTFE tape couldn't fix. So I just took it apart, <laughs> put some thread tape on all of them, of all, all of the connections. I don't know which one was, was leaking, but now it's holding the pressure. So we are also gonna find out if I can actually get this to roughly 4300 PSI or 300 bar with a hand pump. Everybody's saying it's difficult, so I'm about to find out. So let's bleed the air so we can adjust the regulator down. So yeah, we're at zero. 
Always consult your manual, especially with something delicate like this. I don't want to break it. <laughs> it's too precious. So now I have to use the flat head and adjust the screw clockwise until it stops. Then rotate one quarter turn counterclockwise. This will reset the regulator to a minimum setting. Yeah, that's about a quarter. Now I have the fun part starts. I'm gonna have to pump it back up as high as I can. So let's see how hard it is. Seventy-one pumps. And we're at a thousand psi, which is the minimum recommended storage. <laughs> I don't know, but the four thousand. I don't have to start from zero every time, right? Hundred pumps, and we are not at fifteen hundred psi yet. Almost at two thousand psi with hundred and fifty pumps. I can probably get it to 3500, so if this is 150, I don't know if I'm going to bother <laughs> with 4000. <laughs> 200. It's starting to get a lot harder now. 200 pumps, 2500 PSI. They may be right, I'm not going to pump it. <laughs> I might not pump it up to 4,000. 500 psi, the extra. Let's get that needle in the middle. 238. Let's make it a 40. Six, nine. 40. I'm out of shape. <laughs> Whew. This is enough for now enough to adjust the gun and do some test shots. Now, what's very important, this line has 200 bar in it, or 3000 PSI. If I take that connector off, it will probably chop my fingers off because it will just, you know, if you've ever seen a broken hose go. So now I'm gonna bleed the pump. Okay, now it's safe to take this off and put the dust cover back on. So now that I have adjusted the regulator, I also need to adjust the hammer spring. So what I'm going to do so I'm gonna back this out there. Back it all the way out. And then go two turns in. Oh, really? Is that it? So, half, one, one and a half and a little bit maybe two So here are those test shots. These are the first couple. And these are the next five. It's only at like six yards or something. But this was just to make sure that the scope is mounted right and it's not shooting too much left or right. Now I just need to adjust it up and down. And I'm going to do that at 15 yards. If I set the zero at 15 yards, that's my near zero, then I will have another zero at 33 yards and in between it's going to shoot really flat. At the same time, 
the tree in the back, like this one, that's about 50 yards. And it will drop about two inches on 50 yards with this zero. I knew my 0.177 brake barrel would shoot through one of these boards. So I thought, no, I should probably use two as a backer. But I think I underestimated the power <laughs> because they came right at the back. And here, that's the group of five right at the back. So I really need to think about backing my targets and stuff. It's not really a big problem because I have my far target up against a tree. So it just goes in the tree and I'm shooting down at the targets that are closer by it, like 25, 30 yards. So can you pump it up to 4,350 PSI or 300 bar? Of course you can. I got it up to 4,000 PSI or 275 bar, but I don't think it's worth it. You only get like maybe 15 or 20 extra shots out of it. I think I'm just going to keep it around 3,500 PSI. I'm getting about 60 good shots on the regulator out of it. I think that's good enough for me. Another thing that I should be looking into is making some new targets and making some pellet traps. So let me know if you're interested in seeing that. If you got yourself an Air Venturi Adventure or you want to get one, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to do this if you like this kind of stuff. And it should be something for you to watch next. Uh, here or uh, here. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.